This is John for John Just Beat. I'm back on the beat. I've got one of my favorite artists. I have Sarah Richard. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. You know, there's no convention this year, but you still can't get away from me. I'm still I'm still tracking yeah. you down somewhere. No, it's great to see you again. <laughs> so how you, how are you doing without the conventions? Uh, cr it's crazy. I didn't think I'd like miss airports and like convention stress so much um like not having san diego this year especially is like a weird uh, like i'm calmer but i'm also like i really missed that you know seeing everybody and, and the craziness that comes with it so but um but it's good like it's it's allowing me to work on like more personal projects that i've been putting off forever so making the most of it yeah <laughs> well speaking of one of those personal projects you just announced on facebook that the book is coming out, I believe, in March, but it's available for pre-order now. Yeah. And it's a Greek mythology, the gods, goddesses, and heroes handbook. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, uh, really I, I know you did the artwork for it, so can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, totally. So uh, the author is Liv Albert. She uh, does a really awesome podcast called uh, Let's Talk About Myths, Baby. And it's on Spotify and, and YouTube, or iTunes and um but yeah, it's it's um, basically I did 25 illustrations. It's going to be a 240 page book. So she's like really knowledgeable and all the Greek myths and everything. And she puts a really fun spin on everything and makes it really kind of conversational instead of I get really confused by a lot of Greek mythology <laughs> the names. <laughs> but she puts it in a really like simplified way and um, makes it really fun. So um, but yeah, it's it's through uh, Simon and Schuster, which is like. Pretty awesome. I'm I'm really excited. Pretty pretty big time. Yeah. <laughs> now it's not obviously it's not the first time you've done artwork for a book. I know you, uh, you did uh, Dino and Kitty. You've done the Royal Book of Oz. You've done yeah. the Ghost and the Owl. Um, when when you do a book like that, do they like whoever's in charge? Do they say here we need 25 pictures and you just decide what what you want to do, or do they say we need a picture for this? Yeah, uh, they gave me a list of all the myths that um, that are going to be in the book. So um, I didn't really have to do anything in any particular order. So I got to kind of bounce around the list, what kind of felt like what I wanted to work on that day, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, they're just basically like, uh, you know, Icarus uh, and Daedalus. And then there's like Tantalus and there's just all the really big myths and everything. So yeah, I got pretty free reign on how I wanted to do each one of those illustrations. Um, and then kind of with everything, I do like a few thumbnails, hand that in, see which one they like, and then just kind of go into the final from there. But, um, but yeah, all this is, uh, I did it all digitally. So kind of getting wow. more into digital stuff. Uh, it just really helps me with deadlines. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's really colorful and, and it's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah. so I always wonder, like, how do you know when you're done with a picture? Like, when do you yeah. decide, okay, it's done? Uh, that little creeping feeling in the back of your mind <laughs> comes in, like you're gonna screw it up if you keep working on this five more minutes. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, for me, I just kind of feel like when something's done, when I'm getting really nitpicky, or if it's digital and you're zoomed in so far, <laughs> it's like a nostril that you <laughs> will never show up and you just gotta go like, this is ridiculous, I gotta move on to the next one. But, um, but yeah, sometimes, yeah, I just I just kind of get a feeling when it's when it's done, um, or I'll just put it down for a little while and then kind of come back to it and maybe tinker on it a little bit more. But yeah, <laughs> it's well, through all the years of doing illustrations and stuff, I've just kind of figured out where I'm usually set, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> so how cool is it for you when you either see it on Amazon or your friends post it on Facebook or whatever? Or, yeah. You know, the, the book that you worked on. It's kind of surreal. It's still really, it's really cool. Um, like, especially, uh, yeah, seeing it shaved around and when it comes out and having that like final thing in your hands, like it's, it's, you, you feel all those hours that you put into it <laughs> and okay. you just, it's, I just feel really proud of what I created, um, when it, when it finally comes out, um, or is, you know, being shared by a bunch of people. Uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. <laughs> That's what yeah. I keep telling myself on like late nights too. It's like this is gonna be awesome when it comes out. <laughs> just get through it. Yeah, I think it's cool <laughs> just seeing you know like you're a friend. I think it's cool seeing you, my friend's got a cool book out there. You know, yeah. so like oh. for, for, I'm getting involved in it. And I think it's cool. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> but um, so I I'm I'm gonna ask you something about um your your work in the graveyards because that's oh, fascinating. Okay. Now, I, yeah, I, I, I know. It's kind of my like 
spooky stuff. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> Can't really. So, see, like, but, yeah. How did you get into um, you know cleaning, restoring gravestones? And you got yeah. your mom into, or did she get you into it? Yeah, my mom put me into it more. Um, so like I've always really liked cemeteries. Um, always like kind of like spooky, macabre subject matter in anything. Um, and then uh, yeah, my mom did a bunch of classes with the New Hampshire Old Graveyard Association. And they teach you how to like clean stones in a way that won't, you know, ruin them. Cause there are a lot of ways that you can actually damage the stone. Like a lot of stone damage is from well-intentioned people. So uh, there's very specific things like soft brushes, certain um, uh, solutions and stuff that you can use. Um, but yeah, she taught me, you know, how to do it. And it's a really fun mother, mother daughter kind of thing. We'll, we'll go out and uh, clean a bunch of stones and then, um, look on like ancestry.com try to find some genealogy on a lot of the people that we've cleaned um and uh yeah yeah we, we mostly try to stick to like the one graveyard in new hampshire that we've talked to the cemetery trustee uh so one of the things with kind of cleaning stones is you want to make sure you talk to the people who are kind of in charge of <laughs> my the next cemetery. question yes. <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's a weird kind of like it's not illegal, but you can get in trouble for it unless it's like your immediate family um, or, you know, the, the trustee. Um, but uh, but I'm kind of hoping to expand out, like, you know, show it to maybe other cemeteries and say like, hey, this is what we can do. You know, you've got a few stones out back that aren't looking too great. <laughs> and it's like, we just do it for fun. Like, I'm never going to charge, you know, it's any charge anybody who's just like, I want to do it, you know? Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. It's like... Uh, some of these people, they just kind of been forgotten by their families and their stones are starting to get kind of, you know, the information's being erased. So it's it's just a really good feeling to kind of contribute, I guess, um, and hang out with my mom. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. cool. No, I think it's really cool because um, there's a cemetery like maybe two blocks away from me. It's a, it's a really small cemetery. And it's really old. Like there are yeah. some tombstones in there from 1840s. Uh, and, yeah. every, and every time I, I do a lot of running, and every time I run by it, I, I always, like, I think, well, I think of Sarah. I think of Sarah cleaning up the, the, the tombstones, <laughs> which is, you know, I, I associate you with graveyards, but yeah, I also associate with, you know, with totally art and books that, yeah. and all that other yeah. stuff. But it's just, no, it's, I always, it just fascinated me. I always wanted to ask you about that. Yeah, for sure. I'm always down. If, like anybody who ever comes to see me at a show or just sends me a message, I'm always down to talk about a cemetery <laughs> too. <laughs> Like how to give tips on cleaning a stone or whatever. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I I enjoy your work and and actually I appreciate it because you know again it's 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 more than just cleaning a headstone. I mean it's just it's history and it's preserving yeah. history. And that's Absolutely. That, that's like another part that's really really cool. Now you've been all over the world. I know you've done you've traveled overseas. You've been to comic cons throughout the country. Where would you say are your like maybe I don't know three or four favorite places you've been? And then, like, maybe the same, like, where you want to go. Oh, man. Um, the ones that come up, definitely. Uh, I went to uh, Brony Scott last year, and that was in Glasgow in Scotland. And I, I love, love, love Scotland. So that was that was awesome. Um, hung out in the necropolis, of course, because I had to. <laughs> and, uh, which is one of the coolest cemeteries that I've ever been to. Um, and then just ate all the haggis I possibly could. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, everybody at Brony Scott was super, super sweet. So I had a really fun time there. Um, also, I got to go to uh, like Copenhagen in De Denmark uh, and, uh, and Berg in Norway uh, on a kind of double con trip uh, a few years ago for um, Art Bubble. And um, that was that was super fun, too. Uh, I want to go back so bad. I ate a lot of really good food. I would miss going on the a fjord boat ride. So that's going to be oh. my next my next goal, <laughs> I want to go back there and, and I'm pining for them fjords, so I need to go see them. <laughs> um, but um, uh, yeah, uh, in the States though, I, I, I would say, you know, Seattle's uh, Emerald City Comic Con is always super fun. Um, it's really cool to see everybody, like the industry, you know, hangouts and everything and, um, you know, seeing a lot of publishers. I don't get to see except at conventions and the food there is really good. So there's just a lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, Man, they're all fun in their own little way. Um, but where I would like to go, I would love to go to, uh, I would love to go to an Australian convention. It would be really cool. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed kind of thing someday. <laughs> um, 
for uh, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, just anywhere overseas. Like I'm, I'm always down to to take an overseas trip. Maybe like more Scandinavian shows would be really cool. Um, I think there's like a show in India that would be really fun too. Wow, so, that yeah. would be cool. Yeah, that would be really neat. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I could, well, like, I have a bucket list. <laughs> well, hey, we all need a bucket. I was supposed to go to uh, New York Comic Con this year. I actually had uh, press credentials and everything, and then that went down. And I was that was on my bucket list to actually do that Comic Con. You know. Yeah, but, it was gonna be good. That's all right. Always that, you know. <laughs> yes. yes. We'll, we'll get it back together. So, yep. so Becky Lynch. You, yeah. did, you, you did cosplay as Becky, and a very, very good cosplay as Becky Lynch. So are you Thanks. a fan of Becky? Are you a fan of wrestling, or was it just a cool cosplay you wanted to do? I I think she is awesome. Like, I love Becky Lynch. I am not, like, a super wrestling aficionado, like, so I feel kind of like a poser <laughs> a little bit. But, like, she just seems like such a cool person, and every clip that I've seen of her, or I have a friend who's really into wrestling, and he'll send me a bunch of clips of, like, what happened the night before because I can't remember when TV schedules are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she just seems like a really cool person. Uh, and just some of the stories I've read of her, like um, I think she was like a paramedic at one point in her life and she uh, had a fan who was having an issue in her line and, and like fainted or something and she like came and helped resuscitate her. And I'm just like, wow. this girl is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just always thought it'd be kind of fun to do a cosplay of her. I still have like my the man tank top I went running with it the other day. <laughs> Some guy drove by the highway was like, yeah, Becky. <laughs> it's, it's pretty well, it's fun. Really good. Um, and actually, yeah. you'll be happy to know I, I did uh, I did meet Becky and I did an unofficial interview with her. Uh, God, was it last summer? Very very nice. Now, uh, granted, you know, like for an interview, they're supposed to be nice to the press. I get that. But yeah. I mean, you can usually tell the difference when they're really, really nice. And she, she yeah. was like as sweet as, as nice as could be. And, and we were only supposed to have a few minutes and she stretched out because she's Becky Lynch and she can't. Yeah. But, uh, uh, she just so, so, like genuine, like a really genuinely cool person. Yeah. So yeah. So it kind of, we, uh, we talked football because uh, she was with Seth and he's a okay. big Bears fan. Yeah. And so, yeah. so now she is, she is becoming a Bears fan. And she was very quick to point out that she knows a lot about football. Despite That's what awesome. that says. So I thought there was a cool um, little inter oh. interplay between the two of them. <laughs> so before I let you go, do you have uh, any other projects you, I mean, you know, your plate is full always. So are there any other projects you want to uh, promote? Um, yeah. So I guess uh, uh, Storm King is going to be doing a Tales for a Halloween Night um, issue six, which will be coming out more um, actually, I guess kind of October-ish. Um, I have a story in that, a kind of creepy lighthouse story. Um, and Andy Price is going to have a story in that too. He's my buddy. And um, actually, he was the one that kind of got me into that project. So I always try to promote that one. Um, but it's like John Carpenter, so it's also kind of kind of neat. Um, so that'll be the next thing of mine that's coming out. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of working on my own personal stuff. Um, doing a, a short collection of ghost spooky story things um if you check on my instagram there's a lot of like pen and ink kind of looking darker illustrations so that's going to be part of uh like this little book of um kind of new england inspired oh, cool. tale things um so i'm going to try to I'm, I'm trying to put that out through uh, source point press um so i got to finish that up i'm kind of like almost three quarters of the way done with it um and then uh yeah i just have all these weird kind of spooky personal projects I want to work on that I'm hoping next year I just kind of want to come out with a, a bunch of new stuff so trying to spend my time wisely create new things um, but uh, I also have a piece I'm working on for uh, a mall rats show that gallery 1988 is going to be having soon so I'm doing a Miss Ivana piece which I'm really excited about nice. uh, yeah so there will be a, there'll be a mall rat show and there's going to be a fake uh, a gig poster show so I did a hocus pocus themed like gig poster oh, wow. that they'll have. Yeah, it'll be cool. So yeah, that'll be Gallery 1988. Um, and they're, they're a really cool gallery. So uh, lots of pop culture kind of stuff. So um, yeah, other than that, I know I'm going to think of something <laughs> as soon as I, I hang up and I'll be like, oh, shoot. But looking at my list, looks about <laughs> it. Well, let's, <laughs> yeah. let's play a line. And, and for updates, people can follow you on Facebook. I know the art of Sarah Richard. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah. Our Sarah Richard or Sarah Richard.com or um, uh, Sarah Richard art on Instagram. I'll post more like kind of sneak peek stuff on that. Um, and then I also have a Patreon too, where I post even more like sneaky sneak peeks of stuff that I can't quite show on my Instagram or anywhere else yet. Um, and then also like Patreon just is, especially now, super helping me out. So <laughs> if yeah, anybody wants yeah. to pick that up. Yeah. Um, that's all linked on my website. So yeah. Well, I encourage people to check it out. I encourage people now to go to Amazon, pre-order the book, pre-order the, the Greek mythology, the gods, goddesses, and, and heroes handbook. Yes. I'm, sure if, I'm sure if you did the art, it's got to be really cool because I have all your think. other books, and they're really cool. And as uh, you have seen, I think you can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my it gosh. Is, you are on my wall of John G. Right Thank above you. Um, Tom, uh, Tom Richmond from uh, oh. Mad Magazine. Um, wow, that's that's an honor. Thank you. <laughs> well, and I can honestly say this is this is the complete truth. Yours is the most um, talked about or the most liked. I don't know whatever way you want to put it. Whenever people are over, that's the one that people like the most. Uh, I think, so, wow, thank you very much. Made my night. <laughs> thank you. And I always say, well, then just go to her page and check out her books because she's really cool and she's a lot of fun. And if you go to a convention, definitely stop by her table. So. I'm in. Yeah, I'm always down for a high five and talking about spooky shit. So yeah, sounds yeah, good. <laughs> absolutely. We talk about everything at conventions. Yeah. Well, totally. so thank you, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. We're gonna, uh, we're definitely gonna buy the book. We encourage everyone else to buy the book, and we'll probably bug you at some point in the future when you got more cool stuff coming out. Oh man, you're never bugging me. Please, please <laughs> reach out. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are the best, Sarah. Take care. Have a good night. Uh, take care, uh, man. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Uh -huh.